My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slave Despire for March the 10th of 2020. The character is the Ironclad. Insanity, start with the deck of 50 random cards, colorless cards. Colorless cards can now appear in rewards. I believe they will also appear in my Insanity cards. And Lethality, you start each combat with plus three strength, so do all of your enemies. Lethality is a lot more useful to me because I am the Ironclad, so I'm the strength class. Uh, also, Insanity means I'll have a lot of strikes in my deck, which is pretty good for a perfected strike build. So I've got a few different directions to take this. Uh, also, obviously, with colorless cards and insanity, I'm going to get some mind blasts. I've only got one right now, but it'll nuke an enemy on turn one. Right, let's sort this A to Z. Woo! We already have a uh, collector's bonus of angers. Neat. Okay. Got a fair few strikes in there. Not, not maybe as many as I would like, but a couple. So there's a path with way more question marks, has five in total, versus two of a different path. Uh, but it's missing one elite, and it's also missing the rest before the elite. Okay. All of these are useful, right? Yeah, Headbutt, we have two of. Wild Strike, we have two of. Madness, we have, I think, one of. Yeah. Uh, I'll take Headbutt. Headbutting the Mind Blast back atop deck is going to be a very useful thing for us. Perfected Strike here, definitely. Most likely to get the Collector's Bonus on it because it's common. I'll kill that by taking some damage. Sure, I'll just heal it up at the end of the fight anyway. Panacea, Combust, and Sentinel. Panacea, Panacea, no Panacea, no Combust. Any Sentinel? No, there is a Combust, rather. Any Sentinel? No, I'll take Combust, just in case. I just want those Collector's Bonuses, y'all. Removing a card from the deck does basically nothing at this point, so I'll take the money there, definitely take the Curse. We're going to try and get five of those. We'll upgrade Mind Blast, because we're always going to be playing that every single fight, so it'll always save us an energy on turn one. Do I Mind Blast here? I think I ju might just Metallicize and Fire Breathing. Let's draw. Yeah, I think I leave it. I'll headbutt the Mind Blast back to the top of the deck if I need it. It's just I don't have Vulnerability and I don't have like a bunch of uh, different things set up. Shockwave, Jack of All Trades, and a Combust. Now I would be happy to wake the enemy up. Headbutt plus defense this turn, please. My god. Power through. Headbutt the Mind Blast back to the top of the deck. Walk right to get the Mind Blast in hand. And boom. <clears throat> it works. Back in preparation, the start of combat. Draw two additional cards, as well as Deep Breath, Intimidate, Sentinel. So we're not collecting Sentinel. Deep Breath, neither. Intimidate is quite useful, though. I have no copies of it yet. I'm happy to take it. Well, in terms of all of these so far, I kind of want the trips upgraded. Vulnerability for all enemies is pretty uh, pretty good, as it turns out. Red Skull, while your HP is at or below 50%, you have the end, uh, you have three additional strength. I'll try and get my HP below 50% before I go into the final boss fight. It's not the Hexaghost. <laughs> I would never remember it for the Hexaghost, uh, but it'll be useful here for us regardless. Another Perfected. Spot weakness is real good. Whether or not it's needed, completely different issue, but it is real good. Mummified hand, when we play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of the turn. Fire breathing, we already have a copy of. Wild strike, we have two copies of, so I'll take the wild strike. There we go. A whole lot of powers I don't really need in play. Do it again. 
Another headbutt is the collector's bonus. I have to kill the midliner here, right? Because I can't full uh, defend myself. So midliner, dramatic, sword boomerang, intimidate. I think it might be combust. Oh, right. It's definitely combust. I can't believe I forgot that I have the mummified hand. Fine. I'm not taking damage in this fight. That's okay. If I can avoid it at all, and I can, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Great defense on that turn. Horncleat at the start of your second turn. Gain 14 block. Uh, Warcry is almost certainly going to have a collector's bonus eventually for us. Yeah, sure. We'll take it. Upgrading the other trip seems like a good idea. Actually, I'll upgrade Dramatic Entrance. The two extra damage AoE is going to matter a lot next floor. I'm not going to use the Perfected Strike. I just put the Mind Blast back atop the deck. We'll use that again. Sweet. Sadistic Nature is just an energy pump for us. Uh... No, we probably go Porpoise here. None of these are actually that good. Definitely can't go for Ectoplasm. We want as much money as possible so that we can utilize shops effectively. Coffee Dripper, I guess. Yeah. Especially because I have the Smoke Bomb. I can just run away if the fight looks like it's going to be too bad for me. Okay. There's only one to Elite Path, and thankfully for me, it has all these question marks outside. Dual wield Sevasol Rage. I think I already have a Sevasol in here. So that's the one I go with. Yeah. Nope. Fight him. Always going to be fighting, y'all. When are you going to get the message? Every time I see y'all, it's always going to be all hands throwing hands. Get that message through your head. Mask, energy potion, yeah. Uh, heavy blade, heavy blade, heavy blade, heavy blade. I know that I have one in the deck. Do I have two? I do have two. Great. Happy to take it. Uh, I will get rid of the smoke bomb at this point. I actually think the extra energy is going to be far better for us in fights. I'll also take the curse of shame here. I'm looking for it, in fact. Akabeko, your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. That's real good for our AoE. Uh, Liquid memories is actually incredible. Pulls back the uh, the Mind Blast on turn one, blows up an enemy. Great. Flex Havoc Reckless Charge. I, yeah, we have one Havoc in the deck. We have... Reckless charge, reckless charge. No reckless charge in the deck. We have three flexes. Yep. Flex. Uh, 12 block on a turn could be crucial for keeping a bonus, so. Fine game, you got me. I'll do it. Okay. Mine's blast. Headbutt the Mind Blast back to the top of the deck. Heavy Blade. Defend with the Block Potion. That'll get us 25. Score, that is. Toy Ornithopter. Whenever you use a potion, heal for 5 HP. Fire Breathing. We already have one in the deck. May as well take another. Okay. These Perfected Strikes get so much more effective when they're upgraded. And obviously, I'm going to still be taking strikes for the rest of this match, so that'll continue. Uh, burning Pact, the Shrug It Off. That's good. Panacea, neat. Thunderclap. See what I get in the Warcry. 
Fire breathing again. Uh, it's not really going to be relevant. Alright, draw the curse. Here we go. Boom, got him. Knew it was going to happen. Champion Belt. Ooh, whenever you apply Vulnerable, also apply one week. I'm going to want as many copies of Thunderclap as I can find now. Dark Shackles, Second Wind, Dark Embrace. We have no Dark Embrace. We have no Second Wind, I think. So Dark Shackles. I mean, on the bone, if your HP is at a below 50% in combat, heal for 20, uh, 12 HP. That's going to be anti-synergistic with our Red Skull, but I'm honestly fine with it. Okay. Mind Blast, Dramatic Entrance. Headbutt the Mind Blast back to the top of the deck. War Cry in order to draw it. Use it. Boom. Battle Trance, but it's up against uh, Wild Strike. Wild Strike is the completion of a collector's bonus. Battle Trance is really good, though. But I'm taking the Wild Strike. I need every collector's bonus. Body slam, four thought, true grit. Body slam, I have two of, so go for it. Pretty much all of these card selections were made by the game. I'm not really getting to make any of them myself. Game, please let me play. Well, lethality sucks. Honestly, taking damage in this fight isn't that bad. It doesn't take anything really away from us at all. Got him. Another perfected strike, of course, especially if it's pre-upgraded. Mind Blast Traumatic, Headbutt, Burning Pact for the draw, and then boom. When am I going to get another Mind Blast? <laughs> Body Slam, that's our collector's bonus, right? Yep. Uh, another Energy Potion over a Blessing of the Forge? No, Blessing of the Forge is probably more important. Is it? Uh, I don't think it is. I'm going to upgrade the Dark Shackles. So enemy is attacking on turn one. So I basically need to kill here. <laughs> uh, which I do not think is possible. There's no defensive card that I can pull back. Even if I'd only been taking defensive cards, like, with a deck of 50 already, there's a very minimal chance I was going to be able to defend on this turn. This is the unfortunate thing with Insanity. You don't really get to steer your deck as much, which is exactly what I was just complaining about a couple seconds ago. Uh, and sometimes it means I'm just going to miss this perfect. Oh my gosh. That hands. Now that I've already taken damage in this fight, I don't really care. I'm probably not going to die. Oh, thanks for the extra strength. Gave me the ability to heavy blade you down. Fear potion. Neat for the vulnerability on turn one. Double tap would actually be kind of cool, but again, we're going for a Pulpus build here. Yeah. Inability to upgrade things at a rest site. I don't really care about upgrading things at a rest site. Yeah. I'm fine with just taking the extra energy. Sure. 
Bunch of early question marks. Late elite, late shop. I mean, I have a fair few expensive attacks, but I also have a lot of uh, energy. So I'll take an impatience for the possibility of playing him again. I don't know why that exists in a daily. If you're competing for score, you never take it, so. Not sure why it's there. Metallicize. I have two of those. Twin Strike, I have two of. Sever Soul, I have two of. Burning Pact, I have one of. Shrug it off, I have two of. Finesse, I have none of. Okay. Good shot. Obviously, uh, the Happy Flower is every three turns gain in energy. The Sling of Courage is every elite combat. You have two extra strength. And then the Lantern start each combat with an additional energy. Get him, Mayhem. Thanks, Mayhem. You really got him. Twin Strike is the completion of my collectors, right? Maybe I still have a shot at a decent score here based exclusively off of getting a bunch of collectors bonuses. Not everyone who plays the dailies uh, focuses as heavily on collectors bonuses as I do. A hell of a lot of them do, though. Mind. Uh, headbutt. Boom. Go for it. Shrug it off is the collector's bonus for us right now, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I literally cannot do anything at that rest site. <laughs> so I just get to bounce away from that one. Got him. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened, as well as another dramatic entrance. So I guess Havoc. I mean, I think I take the dramatic entrance, actually. Block potion. I mean, blocking on turn one. The addition of something else. I think I have to take it. That was the wrong path. I just missed that elite. For some reason, I was like, oh, yeah, the two rest path is the one I want. But I actually have nothing I can do with the rest site. So I just gave up one elite. That's a lot of score we just missed out on. Like a not cool amount. We calculated at the very end. Uh, burning packs, probably. Remarkably, I don't think any of these give us anything. Havoc is one. Armaments is none. Blood for blood is none. Cleave is none. Rupture is none. Enlightenment is none. Thinking ahead. <laughs> you best believe it's none. Uh, we also haven't even got enough curses. Oof. So we got uh, one extra dex, and whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy. Get a shockwave upgraded. It'd be really good if I could actually get one of those off against uh, Dunu and Decker. Actually managed a full block. Thank you, Arakalkum. Got him. It's another heavy blade uh, collector's bonus? Yes, it is. 
I love a collector's bonus directly before the boss. I think I actually retrieved Thunderclap here. I'm still not going to be able to fully defend this turn. But it does get the vulnerability and weaken on both of them for that turn. And with the amount of damage that was going out, that was, you know, useful. I don't want to waste as much damage as I would be wasting if I hit the backliner on this turn. Alright. Hey! Finally! The headbutt! Let's get that. There we go. That's how it was supposed to go. Unsixing top would have been really good with this build. Twenty-one minutes and twelve seconds. Yeah, that's that's insanity and uh, lethality for you. So you missed out on thirty from a beyond delete possible twenty-five extra, so fifty-five. Obviously missed out on the beyond perfect, which would have been an extra what two hundred and fifty. We did get paupers. We got eight copies of the uh, collector. I don't think they were that hard to kill. Like, I think maybe on average, I might have two more stacks of collector than the average. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Black is power. Damn, you must have actually find, uh, found a way to perfect those bosses. Well done. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.